Have you ever pondered the mysteries of the cosmos, the unseen forces that shape our reality? The cosmos. It's a word that stirs the imagination, casting our minds across the vast, unfathomable reaches of space. It's a realm where galaxies whirl like cosmic carousels, where stars burn with a radiance that outshines all of human history. A universe so incredibly vast, it's almost beyond human comprehension. And yet, here we are, tiny specks on a tiny planet, trying to unravel its mysteries. But what if in this grand cosmic theater, there are actors unseen, forces unknown, pulling the strings of reality, entities that exist in the shadows, beyond the reach of our physical senses, beyond the scope of our scientific instruments. Entities that have been whispered about in ancient texts and speculated upon by the most daring minds of our time. This is where we take a leap from the known into the unknown. This is where we delve into the realm of speculation, of theory, of possibility. This is where we introduce the concept of archons. The word archon is ancient, rooted in the language of a civilization that existed thousands of years ago. It hints at entities that, that are powerful, that hold sway over aspects of reality we can barely comprehend. But who or what are these archons? Are they physical beings existing somewhere in the depths of space? Or are they something more ethereal, existing in dimensions beyond our own? We're just scratching the surface here. The concept of archons is vast, as complex and enigmatic as the cosmos itself. It's a topic that has been debated, disputed, and discussed for centuries. And it's a topic that we're going to delve into to pull back the veil on these enigmatic entities. Today we pull back the veil on these enigmatic entities known as Archons. Um, Archons, a term rooted in ancient Gnosticism, translates to rulers or lords. Now you might be asking yourself what exactly an Archon is. Picture an unseen force, a cosmic entity, overseeing the operations of our universe. These entities are not gods per se, but they do hold a significant amount of power. The concept of Archons originates from Gnostic teachings. Gnosticism, for those who may not be familiar, is a collection of ancient religious ideas and systems that originated in the first century AD. It's a belief system that places a heavy emphasis on personal spiritual knowledge above orthodox teachings and traditions. In this spiritual realm, Archons are considered to be the rulers of the universe, the puppet masters, pulling the strings from behind the cosmic curtain. These Archons are believed to have been birthed directly from the cosmos itself. Gnostics believe that the universe was formed from the passions of a divine entity, a figure known as Sophia. From her cosmic energies, the Archons were born. They are, in essence, the children of creation, the offspring of the very universe they now rule. In the Gnostic worldview, Arsons are not benevolent rulers. They are manipulators, cosmic puppet masters that control the material world. They are believed to be responsible for the design and maintenance of the physical universe, the very reality we inhabit. They're the architects of the stars and planets, the engineers of life as we know it. But their influence doesn't stop at mere creation. Archons are also believed to have a profound impact on human consciousness. They're the puppeteers of our minds, subtly influencing our thoughts and actions in ways we can barely begin to understand. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? The idea that our lives, our very realities, are being subtly manipulated by unseen cosmic entities. But that's exactly what the Gnostics believed. These Archons, as per Gnosticism, manipulate reality. 
subtly influencing our lives in ways we scarcely comprehend. In the cosmic hierarchy, Archons hold quite a significant position. These beings, according to some, are the intermediaries between the divine and the mundane, the guardians of the cosmic order, or the enforcers of universal laws. However, their role in the cosmos extends far beyond these traditional definitions. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe, it becomes apparent that the Archons are not just caretakers of cosmic balance, but influential forces impacting humanity and the world as we know it. They are believed to exert control over our perceptions, shaping our understanding of reality and bending it to their will. This idea, although unsettling, is not new. In fact, it echoes the ancient Gnostic belief that Archons are manipulators of reality. The Gnostics, early Christian mystics, viewed the Archons as malevolent entities. They did not see them as divine intermediaries, but as distorters of truth. The Gnostics believed that these beings could infiltrate our minds, influencing our thoughts, emotions, and actions. Imagine a reality where your deepest fears, your most profound desires, and your most cherished beliefs are not your own, but are planted there by unseen cosmic entities. This is the chilling reality the Gnostics believed we live in, but it goes deeper. The Gnostics claimed that the Archons could manipulate not just our minds, but the very fabric of reality. They could twist the laws of nature, distort the flow of time, and alter the course of events. According to the Gnostics, the world we perceive is merely a facade, a grand illusion orchestrated by the Archons to keep us in check. The implications of such a view are staggering. It suggests that the reality we take for granted may be nothing more than a cosmic puppet show with the Archons as the puppeteers. These unseen forces could be shaping our lives, dictating our destinies, and defining our perception of the universe. The Archons then become the puppet masters, pulling the strings of reality as we know it. But how do these Archons influence us and to what end? This is the question we grapple with as we delve deeper into the mysterious realm of the Archons. From ancient Gnostic texts to modern conspiratorial theories, the Archons have been consistently portrayed as manipulators of human perception. They are said to distort our reality, filling it with illusions and misconceptions. Imagine, if you will, seeing the world through a distorted lens where everything appears warped and twisted. This is the world the Archons supposedly create for us, but their influence doesn't stop at mere perception. These entities, some theories suggest, have a hand in shaping our behaviors too. They are the puppeteers behind the scenes, pulling on the strings of humanity, driving us towards conflict, division, and a state of constant fear. The motive? To feed off the negative energy such emotions produce. Now this might sound far-fetched, but consider this. Have you ever wondered why, despite our advanced technology and understanding of the world, we still find ourselves mired in conflict and division. Why fear seems to be a common thread woven into the fabric of our society. The Archons, some theorists suggest, are the answer. They keep us in a perpetual state of turmoil, ensuring a steady supply of the negative energy they crave. By maintaining a world of illusion, they prevent us from seeing the true nature of our existence, from realizing our full potential as beings of light and love. This is the Archonic influence. It is subtle, pervasive, and deeply entrenched in our society. It is a web of illusion spun to keep us in a state of ignorance and disempowerment. The Archon's influence, some believe, keeps humanity in a state of ignorance 
and disempowerment. So the question remains, are we mere puppets in their grand cosmic play, or do we have the power to break free from their influence? Stay tuned as we explore this further in the next scene. Unmasking these cosmic puppet masters, we are left with a question, what can we do? The answer, as it turns out, is not as elusive as one might think. Various theories and beliefs suggest that we aren't entirely powerless against the influence of the Archons. It seems that our first line of defense, quite possibly our strongest, is knowledge and awareness. Many believe that the Archons thrive in the shadows of ignorance and confusion. They feed off chaos and disharmony, and so understanding their nature and their methods can be our greatest weapon. By shining a light on their actions, we can disrupt their influence, much like turning on a light in a dark room can scatter the roaches that lurk in the corners. However, knowledge alone may not be enough. Some suggest that we must also cultivate inner strength and resilience. This could mean developing mental fortitude, emotional balance, or spiritual growth. The idea here is to create a strong internal foundation that the Archons cannot easily sway or manipulate. Others propose the power of collective consciousness. They argue that if enough people become aware of the Archons and their influence, the collective awareness could create a force field of sorts, a protective barrier that could repel their negative energy. And then there are those who advocate for a more direct approach, a sort of cosmic confrontation. They argue for the power of positive energy, of love and compassion to counteract the Archon's negative influence. It's a battle of frequencies, they say, and the higher our vibration, the less impact the Archons can have. Whichever path we choose, the key is to act, to not remain passive, to not allow the Archons to pull our strings without a fight. In the quest to understand our cosmos, unmasking the Archons is but one step towards a greater understanding of the unseen forces that shape our reality.